What's up guys, I am coming back at you with another test hand video, this time with mermails, because I haven't actually done any test hands with mermails properly before. I attempted it a little while back when this was incomplete, but um, I thought that because this is complete, I thought I would just bring it to you and you know, just show you what the deck can do. I've made a couple of changes because I couldn't find the exact list. Couldn't find the cards for the exact list um, in my binders, but you know, I just thought I'd get on with it. So, I'm going to try and do this a format of, for a couple of test times, I'm going to do two first turn and two sec uh, second turn. Um, just as a quick thing, because last time I tried to do three and three, but uh, that didn't really work out, so I want something a little bit more even. Uh, I have limited space on my tablet because it's not great on the video memory. So, yeah, we'll just get on with it. We'll just deal with what we do. I might do multiple of these. Um, but, yeah, you know. Right, so drawn five cards, and those five cards are... We've got Teus. We've got Neptabis, which is a, just an everything card. An Atlantean Infantry, a Abyss Gooned, and a Salvage. Well, I think we can set up a decent board with that. So, let's move these. Because we're going to normal summon the Neptabyss and use his effect. To ditch us a Dragoons, to add us a Dragoons. That... This Dragoons will then activate, and that will add us a, where are you, an Abyss Megalo. Right, so we've got the Abyss Megalo with the Dragoons in Grave, and then we're going to activate the Megalo, um, ditching Dragoons and Infantry. Then Megalo effect and then Dragoons effect. So Dragoons will possibly probably get us uh, this Deep Sea Diva, and it will also net us this. So we've got the Sphere as well. Then we are going to Megalo Effect Tribute for this, and then we are going to Extra Normal Summon Effect to get us have to be a marksman then we are going to sync these up for a gungnir and then Overlay for a Draco Sack. We'll then use Draco Sack's effect, um, detaching the Megalo. Let's just use two of these. Those are, I think those are lightning strike kaijus, yeah. Uh, right. So we got two tokens. Then we are going to activate the Teus. So ditching the Gooned, leaving the Salvage in hand with the Sphere. That would also net us the Megalo. So we could then go into a... Actually, this would be an attack position because, you know, 
because what we're going into will mean that they can't attack. So, we have got that, and then we'd activate salvage probably, get us back the, I'd say infantry and diva. And then we would set the sphere and pass. Because Dracosac cannot be destroyed by card effects. I can negate all face up card effects and they can't attack as long as they as long as I've got uh, materials, but they're probably going to go into rank fours if this was up against something like you know uh just noticed that the light's a bit awkward. There we go. Uh, if we were up against like Domain Monarchs, they'd go into something to run us over or try and spin, but we still got effects to negate. And uh, rank fours, they, and uh, pendulums would go into rank fours and all that kind of guff. So, yeah. Um, yep, I'm going to skip to the next bit. I'm going to shuffle the deck and do it like that again. So, be back in a second. Right then. So we draw five. This will be the last one that I do in the first turn, then the next two will be going on to turn twos. Because I think it's simple to do that it that way. So we opened up Goon, Salvage, uh Instant Fusion, Infantry and Sphere. Unfortunately this is an almost unplayable hand. So we'd have to set the sphere. Um, I'd have to also set that as well as a bluff, as well as probably setting the salvage as well. Um, I'll draw into... Oh, that's a, annoying, that's a wrong sleeve. Um, so we would draw into absolute arse. And there's a hair there, that's lovely. This would be destroyed. In the end phase I would have activated this. I don't know, getting a Lind that would be destroyed and then that would get us that, I guess. I don't see where that would actually get me though. Then after that I could, if this hadn't been destroyed, I could flip this get back those normal this go aggro <laughs> that's all I could really do with that hand that's absolutely dreadful I'm gonna I'll, I'll do another turn one I'll do another turn one quickly right so we have got if I can pick them up We've got Teus, a salvage again. I promise you I'm not stacking this. Uh, Abyss Pike, a twin twister, and then a Gund. So, probably go with activating Teus, ditching that. Teus's effect would get us possibly a... Well, we've only got one target, actually. We've only got the Lind. So get us the Lind. Uh, this would be very passive. This would be sort of putting pressure on your opponent because you got two. You'd have, yeah. You'd um, then set the Twin Twister. Sort of your opponent would be wary about this. They don't want you going to big stuff. So. If they don't touch that, and they hit this, then yeah, doesn't really matter. So in your in their own phase, you you know go for this. You'd probably your seven plays are best, so you probably hit this into on the field. Then you draw into this. So. Uh, set it you know it's your your first turn plays are very very passive and they're not too great sometimes your set your turn two plays can be very passive as well you have 
it, it's it's really difficult to make this into a very very aggro deck so yeah I'll shuffle this and be up so this time we start off with six cards in hand those being Megalo um, instant fusion I swear I don't know how this is getting into my hand so much um, yes and yes uh, okay so essentially we've opened up pretty well. We've opened up pretty darn good. So we normal summon the Neptabyss. Get off the Neptabyss effect. So Dragoons. Dragoons. This this other Dragoon this Dragoons would add us a Diva wherever it is. There we go. Then we would possibly. Oh, sorry, guys. I need to make room. So uh, I possibly instant fusion for that. Then overlay for a a bestweller. Because it's the best card in the extra deck, really, realistically. Then we would go for the... Where is it? Go for the Abyss Megalo. Ditching the infantry and the uh, Dragoons. So... That Dragoons would get us the... Where is it? Dragoons would get us the Moulin Glacier, and then this Megalo would actually get us the Mizuchi. Then, we'd obviously tag that onto that. Then, uh, Megalo's effect would tribute this for, and that would get us this. Then we can normal summon again. We wouldn't go for anything there because it's not really worth it. So, and we're going for extra damage. So, we go for a four, being armory arm, armory arm attached to the megalo. Move this out of the way. So, the armory arm's attached to the megalo. Detach one of for Dweller. Uh, Dragoon's effect doesn't really matter, but you know, I'll do it for. Do it because I can. And then. We have shit. We don't have shit, that's fucking disgusting. Uh, we should have. Uh, yeah, we should have five waters in grave. So we can special summon that Moulin Glacier. Now, um, essentially, what this means is that whatever big monster they have, we're going to run over it and burn them for the exact same amount of damage that they would have. Uh, essentially, we are clearing over a monster for sure. Because this is 32... 42. So anything with 4k or less, 4,100 uh, 4, attack or less, they're going to be burnt for 4,200. And I've actually done it, I've actually done in the tournament that I last played this, I, I did this combo, I attacked into a something like a pain gainer, burnt them for 4k, and then attacked directly for 4k. But yeah, and then we've got this to dig cards out of your opponent's hands and they can't activate anything in the grave. So this would actually be on 47k. Not 47k, um, 4700. So that's actually quite strong. I'll do one more because it's getting towards 15 minutes and then I'll close off the video. Right, so the last one then. We opened up with, oh, double Neptabyss. Triple Neptibus Marksman, 
Effect Veiler and Fishboard Launcher. Well, I can tell you for fucking sure that the Effect Veiler would have been used, so we'll say that that's in the grave. Oh no. Sorry, bin men outside. Um, well, the only thing we can really do is go for the Neptibis whole Neptibis wombo combo thing. Um, that's actually rather annoying. So the dragoons, all the dragoons, adding the megalo, that whole spiel. Right. So then you'd want to ditch the other dragoons and then the marksman for the megalo, the megalo's effect. I'd get another megalo because yeah. So megalo effect would get us that, then the dragoons effect would get us another megalo. Because we can do a bit of some wombo-y combo-y plays, I think. Yeah, we can do some wombo-y combo-y plays. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Megalo again. Ditch the Fishborg Launcher and Aneptibis. Um, that would res us a... One of these. I'm going to. I would activate Fishborg Launcher's effect. Special summon itself from the grave. And then go for a six. Um, I'm really quite improvising right now, to be honest. Uh, a six. So we'd go for the Doloran. Yep, so because we need some form of damage on board. Uh, so the other, sorry, the other Megalo would have also gotten us a... Biscale. It's kind of a shame, I'm sorry about the last one being so lackluster, but the one before this was essentially your most main combo of the deck. So you'd probably want to... Attach that, possibly set that as well, keep that in hand. Um, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Um, apologies for it being quite a shitty set of combos and stuff. But, um, unfortunately, that's what the deck is now. Um, it's kind of difficult for the deck to get anywhere. It can do quite well if you're playing up against decks that don't know what you're doing. So they'll let you do your combo. The first time they'll let you do your combo, they'll let you do this, and then they'll realise, okay, that's something that I need to stop. And then you sort of have to go into an XYZ sort of or synchro-oriented um, mindset. So I hope this was kind of inf it, like inf informative. Um, I'll try and do one on... Uh, Cyber Dragons, but I need more sleeves because those are all in different coloured sleeves and I can't be bothered to sort those out. I mean, I could hardly be bothered to sort the sleeves out for these and that was only a couple of them, which I apologise for saying, but anyway, I do hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you.